good morning everyone welcome back to my channel um so recently my brother upgraded his windows laptop to a macbook laptop um, with the m3 and unfortunately um while the macbook uh, has good battery life and good build quality and overall is a solid laptop um it is an arm laptop so um it can't run um x86 apps such as valorant and so and so so I recommended him to purchase this um, Boss Game Ecolite Series E2 mini PC right here. Um, this PC is powered by the Ryzen 5 3550H and um, it's not uh, the latest CPU. The CPU probably released um, six to seven years ago, so it's fairly old. However, it's running on the Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So um, if you guys uh, are like tech savvy people, um, AMD is known for having um, some of the best um, dedicated graphics card so um, for his needs uh, especially Valor valorant being an easy to run game um, this should be powerful enough um, it has 16 gigs of ddr4 ram i'm not sure of the exact speed um, uh, storage 512 gig nvme ssd um, i also want to tell you that the memory and the storage are upgradable but yeah um, in this video i will not only be unboxing this i'll also be setting it up uh, i'll also be um, showing you guys how to optimize windows for gaming and i'll end the video with a benchmark um, video of me playing valorant uh, on this mini pc right here so yeah really excited and hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let's open this bad way up. So while the processor, the Ryzen 5 3550H is like 6 to 7 years old, this PC um, from Boss Game is actually fairly new. Like if you check other um, YouTube reviews, um, they posted it maybe 3-4 months ago. So uh, I'm guessing Boss Game had a lot of like 3550H processors in stock um, and just wanted to clear it out. So they decided to um, make a PC out of it. Uh, and this isn't very expensive too. Like I got this for roughly around 235 Canadian dollars, um, which is a really good deal considering you get 16 gigs of ram and um 512 gig nvme ssd but anyways uh we got this cover out right here got some instruction manuals right here um, we got the bracket we also got an hdmi cable and the power um cord here's the pc right here so here's the boss game pc it's plastic all around um so that's not a shocker because like given it's a uh, cheap price point but uh, yeah um we got the power button here um uh headphone jack uh usb c which is really nice two usb ports i think usb 3.0 um two hdmi ports um one hdmi 3 uh, sorry usb 3 usb 2 and one lan cable and some vents here for airflow okay so now we already plugged in the computer i connected it to the ola f75 wireless keyboard and the attack shock x3 mouse I also did reviews and unboxing of these products, so make sure to check them out. Um, but yeah, let's turn on the Boss Game Mini PC for the first time. So um, when you turn it on, I noticed that um, the fan uh, speeds up for like three seconds and then it um, turned off. But anyways. Hi guys, so I finally managed to successfully set up the Boss Game Mini PC. It was more troublesome than I expected because um, there are lots of issues such as with the drivers being um, not up to date and there are mi some missing drivers too and there are just issues everywhere and it took me a lot of time actually to figure out. So make sure you guys, um, when you set up your um, mini PC, uh, make sure to install all your drivers, make sure everything works. And yeah, now let's optimize Windows. So the first thing is that I want you guys to go into Task Manager and hit into startup apps right here. So I've already disabled the ones I don't need. So uh, when you guys do this, most of these are gonna be enabled. Just enable the ones that you want to keep enabled when you turn on your um, PC. That way PC manager and Radiant software will both start up um, without like permission basically every time you open your PC. So make sure that you only keep the ones you need here. Anyways, that's the first one. Next, hit to the search bar and write performance and adjust the appearance and performance of Windows here. Um, for you guys, all of these will be enabled. Just choose adjust for best performance and just keep show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Apply, then okay, that's good. Um, this pink thing is just a small error. You don't really have to mind this. Anyways, and now navigate into the settings. 
in the settings uh, make sure color mode is set to dark uh, whether you're on a laptop or phone i always recommend you guys to um, set it to dark mode that way you could save both battery life and improve performance head to system notifications make sure notifications is off again we're optimizing this for the best gaming experience so we don't really need notifications um, another thing is head into startup apps just find anyone that um, is like we, you don't really need. We did that before in um, the task manager, but they may be more apps here that is enabled by default. So make sure that's done and search also Xbox game bar settings. Make sure Xbox game bar is off. You don't really need to record unless necessary. Game bar is off and make sure game mode is on. Now, depending whether you're Intel or AMD, this enabling this might be good or bad so just uh, experiment with both um, anyways that's just a quick overview on what i did to improve performance on windows there are many other ways to on how to do it but this is just what i do just a quick one also make sure that windows is up to date update windows yeah i gotta update that in a bit anyways now we're gonna go into the amd adrenaline software Here, go to create and make it performance. However, I just like a custom one. Um, Radiant Anti-Lag, um, Radiant Pro Viewport Boost. Uh, I disabled Radiant Chill because um, it limits FPS to save power. Uh, radiant Image Sharpening, you could experiment with that. Basically, it sharpens your image. So let's say you're playing in 720p. It may seem like as if you're playing on 1080p or whatever, and you could save a few FPS. I might play around with that later. Um, but yeah, here's my settings. Texture, filtering, quality. I just made sure it's performance. But yeah, that is how I optimize Windows and uh, Radiant Adrenaline for the best performance. Now I will show you guys um, a benchmark on Valorant. Hey guys, so I've um, tweaked a lot with the um, Valorant settings uh, and AMD Radeon, um, just trying to um, optimize the FPS. However, I realized that the boss game E2 Mini PC isn't the best option um, for gaming. Um, trust me, I did everything. I modified the AMD uh, Adrenaline software. I modified the Windows settings. I also played around with the Valorant config files to access the hidden settings. And I also made this to 1280 by 720 everything and like if i not limit the fps right here see i'm getting over 170 fps at the moment in training however um i noticed that in um, heavy workload such as in a competitive match um, um frame drops occur a lot so like you could be playing on 100 fps when you're like um walking around the map but when you're shooting a person um it'll drop to 20 all of a sudden for two seconds and these frame drops can get really annoying especially in this um fps uh, games so i would be returning this pc and looking at other alternatives so yeah have a good one.